Greetings YouTube and welcome to episode 3 of Addikin Sleepwalker Cosplay. So in this episode, like I promised, we we're going to be doing some cheap, quick and easy cosplay and in that I'm going to show you my first ever cosplay, that is the Jane Cobb. So when it comes to uh, cosplay, one of the first things you've got to do is first of all find a character. Now. For this particular instance, the reason I chose Jane Cobb is because it's a very, very simple cosplay. So there's no sewing needed, there's no um, putting things together, it's literally a very straightforward off the shelf cosplay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through just some of the processes that you need to do in order to create your cosplay. Step 1. Find a character. This can be a video game character, it can be a film character, it can be a television character. The sky's the limit. The second thing to do is get lots and lots and lots of reference material. The reason for this is you want to get the uh, you want to get the character at different angles. One of the best things to do for this one is you can get hold of some action figures or some statues like these. Then you can use these to base your character on. The second thing to keep in mind whilst you're doing this is to try and get the most iconic or the most memorable of the um, costumes for that character. So that's why I went with Jane. So as you can see and from the statue that I've got here, um, that first of all you've got the rather cunning hat. So this is Jane's hat and somebody actually knitted this for me uh, about 10 years ago when I was living over in Canada. Um, however, you can buy these in uh, market stalls in some places. Uh, um, you can get these on Etsy for anything from sort of five or six pounds going up to about 20 pounds. So this is the iconic hat. Make sure if you're going to do a Jane Cobb, you get the cunning hat. Next up is gloves. Now, these gloves I actually stole from another cosplay of mine, um, which I'm going to do in the next couple of tutorials. Um, but these are just simple driving gloves. These cost me five pounds um, and all I've done is I've cut the trigger fingers off, the thumbs and the little fingers. Uh, just like in the, uh, the statue here, you can see that Jane is wearing some sort of brown tactical glove. Now you can use paintball gloves, you can use um, air softening gloves, you can use military gloves, you can use motorcycle gloves, whatever you're comfortable with. Remember, whatever you wear, you've actually got to be able to wear all day and they can't take up too much uh, sort of your tactile uh, ability on there. The reason being is you're going to want to eat while you're wearing these things, you're going to want to um, get people's autographs while you're wearing these things, you're going to want to carry things around with these. So generally speaking, try and unencumber yourself as much as possible and not wear anything that's too bulky or it's going to get in your way. So next up is the trousers. Now I'm just wearing a really simple pair of um, sort of eight pound Primark um, trousers. The only thing that I had in mind really was that they were combat pants, they were uh, sort of green or khaki, or they can even be uh, sort of dark grey. Next up is the t-shirt. Now I am really proud of this shirt. As you can see in both my reference uh, little man and my reference bigger man, they're both wearing the same identical shirt to what I'm wearing here, which is also the same that Jane wore uh, in one of the episodes of uh, Firefly, and I believe he also wore it in Serenity briefly, or at least he did on the uh, special features. So this shirt, uh, it cost me a lot of money. I'm not going to lie to you about it. Um, I saw this on eBay uh, once upon a time, and it was like £15. And at the time I thought, wow, that is really steep for a t-shirt, I'm not going to buy that. And then it sold out, and I couldn't find it anywhere online. So I had to go on the official Firefly online store and spend £32 on it, including shipping. Um, so yeah, this kind of broke the bank. However, if you have a look at all the photos that you can see with me wearing this particular outfit, so look back on the last couple of videos, look on the Facebook, uh, etc. You can see that I'm wearing actually just like um, a Chinese print t-shirt and this is fine because in the Firefly Serenity universe 
what you've got is the uh, two superpowers back on Earth uh, had a war and the Chinese and the Americans sort of joined forces and became the superpower. So you get a lot of sort of Japanese, Chinese um, influence between the two uh, languages and what have you. You can also get anything that's, uh, for example, Blue Sun, which you see a lot of those kicking around, Oti Futi Bars, the sky's the limit when it comes to the Firefly Serenity. You can wear any t-shirt you want, but the Chinese print ones are probably more Jane Cobb style. Um, and then I've got a couple of extra bits that I got. So in all of my reference material, Jane Cobb wears, well, a lot of guns. So I actually bought a Nerf leg holster and a Nerf gun as well. So this actually cost me um, about five pounds on eBay. So I can't remember what model of Nerf this is, but if you look up Nerf pistol, you'll pretty much get a million of these. Now I've actually got two of these. I've got a blue one and I've got a black one. Now this one's basically been spray painted black um, and then we've gone over it with uh, like a sponge with some silver paint on it just to look like it's been scratched up. Really, really simple, really, really easy. This isn't my best work, um, and hopefully going forward, I'm gonna create some more of these. And like I said, I spent maybe an extra five pounds and had the holster thrown in as well. To extend this, I actually got a little couple of carabiners because the, uh, I've got really uh, sort of large thighs. So in order for it to fit, I've got to add a couple of extra loops that I can hook onto my belt as well. And these can be picked up for pennies on Amazon or eBay or whatever. Yeah. I got about 100 of these for about £3.50 on eBay about 10 years ago. And then of course, there's Vera. Now, Vera is Jane's trusted weapon. Uh, now, unfortunately, like in my reference material here, and if you watch any of the, the Firefly Serenity series, you'll know that Vera is a very specific looking gun. Unfortunately, because it's very specific looking and was made for the TV show, you can't get them anywhere. Replicas cost hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds. You can go on Etsy and buy kits, which work out at about sort of 350 pounds once you've bought the whole lot. So it ain't cheap. Um, hence why I'm not planning on buying um, any anytime soon. So what this is, this is a Nerf gun. Again, I can't remember the uh, exact uh, type, um, but basically it's been spray painted black and red and left at that. When I walk around and I'm I'm holding my uh, my big gun, everyone knows Jane Hart, big gun. It's got to be Jane and Vera. So. Again, you can use any kind you want. What I will say to you guys is be very, very careful of the materials that you use when creating prop weaponry before you go to a convention. A lot of conventions, particularly the bigger ones, have very strict rules about what uh, your weapons can look like and also what they're made of. These are just made of plastic, they're very hollow, so they're not gonna um, inflict any damage on anybody. However, a lot of the um, bigger cons say you can't have them made out of wood because it can be used as a club. They say that you can't have it made of metal for obvious reasons. And also it can't look like an actual weapon. So this is okay because it's very over the top, looks very futuristic and sci-fi, and it cannot be mistaken uh, for an actual gun. The last thing you want to do is on the way to your convention, walking from a train station, is find yourself getting pulled over by the police because they think you've got an actual firearm. So be very, very careful try and make it look as unrealistic as possible while at the same time not spoiling your cosplay too much so that is pretty much the entire outfit i would love to have got myself some uh, tactical boots to go with this unfortunately um i'm a size 13 and boots don't come cheaply for me so all i do is when i'm wearing uh, this outfit i'll just put a pair of walking boots on they cost me about 10, 15 pounds from uh, TK Maxx. They're old, they fall into pieces, but no one's really gonna spend much time looking at your feet, especially when you've got sort of the cunning hat and the big gun to look at. So don't worry too much if you can't find the right footwear, just wear what you, what's comfortable and the nearest thing to what you're trying to achieve on that. Now, like I said before, I'm all about the evolution of um, the characters you can build and add to these all you'd like 
um, for example, Jane does actually wear a knife on his belt. Uh, there's the ongoing, uh, oh, I wish I'd brought grenades with me uh, scenario as well. So you could potentially add more ammo to your, uh, to your rep repertoire. You can add ammo belts, you could add grenade belts. Um, if you want it to look a little bit more uh, sort of outdoorsy or a little bit more sort of desert, what you can actually do is get one of these. Now this is a shimmer or shimak, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Um, this cost me 99 pence on eBay, that included the postage. Um, and this can be used uh, in a variety of different ways. So all I'm gonna do with this one to make myself look a little bit more outdoorsy is to roll this over twice. Tie once at the back and then just let fall around my throat. So this looks a little bit more outdoorsy. Uh, for example, in a lot of the uh, episodes, Jane's outside. You could even get some goggles or something to make it look like he's actually out on the, uh, you know, in the desert. Pretty much whatever you like with it. It's all about the evolution of the character. And what I also say as well is dress for the weather. Um, if it's really cold outside, like when I was at the Bradford, uh, the Bradford Comic Con, then I wore a long sleeve t-shirt underneath it. Why? Because nobody cares what you wear underneath it. Jane on many, many occasions has worn long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, sweatshirts. It's an evolving character. You can pretty much wear whatever you want and get away with it. Another thing when you're actually going to a lot of these conventions is try and know as much about your character as possible. Uh, the reason being is um, when you actually turn up to these things, people will try and quote uh, lines from the films or TV shows that you're at in order to uh, sort of build a bit of a rapport with you. I must get the uh, the phrase cunning hat thrown at me 20, 30, 40 times a day. Uh, don't worry about it. They, you know, try and find something fun to say back to them like shiny or something on those lines. If you're going to uh, enter a competition for example, uh, particularly as Jane, you could uh, learn the lyrics to The Hero of Canton, uh, which was the song written about Jane in uh, the Janestown episode, which I believe is uh, sort of midway through the season. Um, so again, just try and know a little bit about your character because people are going to try and communicate with, to you as your character and it's always fun to be able to strike a pose or um, to be able to uh, say something back to them when they're trying to interact with you. Whatever you really want uh, when it comes to cosplay, all I would say is have fun. Okay, so just a quick rundown about how much uh, you're likely to spend on this outfit. So again, you've got a hat, maybe anything from £6 plus uh, on eBay depending on the seller or best bet is Etsy to be honest with you. So £6 on the hat, maybe five pounds on the gloves, 10 pounds uh, on a Nerf blaster and paints. You've got as little as you can spend on the t-shirt. Again, between sort of three and 30 pounds is what I've spent on this one. Eight pound on a pair of Primark uh, trousers, five pound on a pair of uh, uh, TK Max walking boots, uh, and five pounds on the uh, on the side arms there. So, like I said before, you've got the figures on the screen there. It speaks for itself. So, guys, just to wrap this up, if you end up dressing up as Jane Cobb for your next convention, let me know. Drop me some videos. Drop me some pictures. Drop me a message on Facebook or Twitter. Come and say hi. All of the links are in the bottom of the uh, screen down there. So please have a look, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. In the next episode, hopefully, depending on whether or not my solder arrives, um, hopefully we'll be having a look at my other evolving cosplay, which is going to be the Borderlands Psycho. Um, so, guys, keep in touch, stay tuned. I'm Madikin Sleepwalker, and you've been watching my channel.